Corn School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com, and we need to talk about nitrogen. It is the spring of 2019. It has been incredibly cool. And you say, well, so what? What does that have to do with nitrogen? It has a huge amount to do with nitrogen in terms of the soil release. And so the soil test labs have been tracking soil nitrogen release. And since the 1st of April till the end of May, essentially no soil release whatsoever. Most of the time, we get around 70 or 75 pounds of nitrogen release out of the soil. And most of the time, it starts kind of early May, sometimes even into April. So what does that mean for 2019? It's still cool. It's the middle of June. I'm standing out here, I wish I had a coat on. It must be it's 18 or 17 or 15 degrees Celsius. What does that do in the soil? Well, the bugs, they need heat to actually work on the organic matter. And that's where that soil nitrogen comes from. The interesting thing about soil nitrogen is we don't catch up. So the fact that we didn't start on May the 10th and we might hardly be started on June the 10th means that we've lost at least a month of soil nitrogen release and we might lose more. Once it starts, it just kind of chugs along at the same pace so it doesn't go twice as fast and catch up once we get into July. So we're short soil nitrogen. Bottom line, we are short soil nitrogen. You can see it in the wheat crop. I have lots of wheat. We have trials out. 100 pounds of nitrogen, 200 pounds of nitrogen, 300 pounds of nitrogen. The 100 pound nitrogen looks yellow as if it's hardly got any nitrogen on it. Why? Did we lose some? Maybe. It's been wet. We could have lost some, but I don't think that's the big factor. We're just not getting the release. It's corn nitrogen time. What should you do? For goodness sakes, pay attention. The Omafra corn nitrogen survey is going to come out here in, a, in 10 days, give or take. Look at that. Pull your own nitrogen sample. It's one of those years where despite the fact we've fought like crazy to get the crop in the ground, it looks like we have to keep the inputs up if we actually expect the crop to perform. And we're seeing that in the wheat crop. We absolutely are gonna see that in the corn crop. Make sure that you look at the nitrogen status of your soil, do the right thing, get enough nitrogen on to support the yield you think you're going to get there. The corn nitrogen calculator can help you with that, but it's just one of those years where everything is kind of making you wonder if you're doing the right thing. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com, grow great corn.